Bangladesh 
is ground zero for climate justice. And yet, we are bringing a coal plant into a dense area of Bangladesh. And the last things I mentioned earlier were the complete taking away of land of indigenous people. Shalko community has been in Bangladesh for, before Bangladesh was Bangladesh. And so that when we talk about Bangladeshi independence, when we talk about Bangladeshis, we mean everyone, religion, ethnicity, indigenous communities, and I think that that's something we really have to see, but consistently on these scores, we really have to pay attention. That is where our democracy needs some care. That is where our democracy needs some attention, okay? Um, so the other area I mentioned to you was the legal structure. So one of the reasons, one of the ways in which to make any disparaging comments against the government of uh, Bangladesh, you can be subjected to criminal penalties. And a number of um, journalists, activists, have been subjected to this and through the courts. And this is a very dangerous act because it means that whatever you say, if someone disagrees with the government, they can be criminally charged. And so this is something that all of us, again, should be care, careful about if we care about democracy. Do we care about democracy? Do we? Of course. Yes. Okay, if we care about democracy, then we have to be concerned that when somebody raises a position, we don't like. There are many positions I do not agree with, I do not like, but the democratic process allows everybody to speak their mind, right? So when we have a law that says, you say something against the government, you can have criminal penalties, that is very dangerous. So it's not just a matter of, you know, rogue violence. The law is being used to suppress. We still have on the books, which is called the Special Powers Act of 1974. That remains still a law. And that law, again, was used to arrest the trade unionists. So again, these are just two examples. I can give you multiple examples, right, as a lawyer, where we really have to be careful because one of the, uh, one of the beautiful things about, uh, if you read the Constitution of Bangladesh, it is actually, uh, because I'm also uh, obviously a, a lawyer here, we have aspects of a Constitution that is way beyond the United States Constitution. The Bangladeshi Constitution gives us economic and social rights. The United States Constitution, about 15, about 100 uh, Bangladeshi, uh, uh, Bangladeshis were kept in basically jail. Detention is jail, right? So those of you who don't know, it's jail. And they were, why were they considered terrorists? Because they were involved in an opposition party. And that designation, right, of the opposition as terrorist in Bangladesh by the current government is harming Bangladeshis here. So we always have to, it's what we call boomerang. You know that you thing you throw and it comes back and it hits us, right? So we have to think about what we do in Bangladesh has an impact on us here. And think about it now. We are now facing what is called, well, the courts have stopped it. But we are in Bangladesh. We won in 2019 three fair getting our election. And last